Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I just got off of work and I'm gonna talk about the brand new units that are coming into the game with the prize showcase. Summer Shell and Summer Cat Seath, who are both light units and not the element I was expecting. So I hope you like this video. If you do, you can leave a like, comment, tell me if you're gonna be summoning for these dudes or not, and subscribe to me if you want some more video things. First things first, I am going to apologize to Egotistical Carp who said Summer Marston is water, so Shell isn't guaranteed to be Shadow. It's likely based on Euden and Leo being Shadow as well, but the chances is still there for her not to be Shadow. Uh, I would be surprised if she's anything but Shadow. This is now me, Purple Wokey, speaking. I just don't see them changing the element of Cat C for Shell when they didn't do that for Mim or Leo for their Summer versions. End statement. Uh, so yeah, Shell is light. Not what I was expecting at all. I don't think anyone was expecting it. It just didn't really make any sense to me that they literally went out of their way to change the element of Leo and Mim uh, and then make them Dragon Drive characters because they're both forced to be Fire Dragons. And then when it came to the Shadow Dragon Girl, oh no, he could, Cat Seath can be light. It just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> It now makes me kind of feel like we were robbed of a Mim in a dragon bikini, which is actually the main thing I want to talk about. More than anything, I don't care about being wrong. What I care about is that I was like, ah, it would have been cool to have a dragon bikini, but that would have probably caused us Mim to be fire, and I didn't want that. But if dragons can just change their element willy-nilly, I don't understand why they did keep those characters that way. But whatever. Let's get into what Summer Shell actually does. She is a light, uh, let me look up here, light wand. Soul Estevil deals damage to enemies directly ahead, inflicts flash burn, and lowers their flash burn resistance. Also fills one bar of ravishing radiance gauge. Damage is 2,751 over one hit. Skill energy required is 2,950. And shared skill is uh, 19,175. Special effects, flash burn resistance. 20% down, last 30 seconds, does not stack, flash burn, last 21 seconds, triggers every 2.9 seconds, damage 41.6, uh, estate brilliante, restores HP to the user, Re resets the ravishing radiance gauge, and partially fills the dragon gauge abilities that increase dragon gauge fill rate will not affect this increase, recover potency is 40. Skill energy required doesn't matter because it's automatically gained, and dragon energy gained is 100. Sorry about that, there's either the rats going crazy in the kitchen or a ghost is trying to kill me. But, uh, let's move on. Dragon energy gained is 100, pretty nice. Skill energy required 6,300. Even though it doesn't really matter because it kind of- actually it kind of does. I guess I could tell you how much it would take, um, overall. So, skill damage 15%, light flash burn equals shadow resistance 8%, stunning summer scion 2, grants the user a ravishing radiance gauge with 3 bars. The ravishing radiance gauge effects are based on the number of bars filled, 1 bar increases the user's chances of inflicting flash burn by 30%, increases the user's chance of inflicting flash burn by 50%, increase the damage dealt by soul estivo skill by 100%, and at 3 bars reduces the user's move- what? Three bars reduces the user's movement speed. Also, when shapeshifting, the Ravishing Radiance Cage will be reset, and the user will transform into Summer Cat Seaf, regardless of what dragon they are equipped with. The user's dragon skill will increase the chance of inflicting flash burn and 50% for the remainder of the quest and deal damage to surrounding enemies. Additionally, using Soul Estevo will grant the user a defense amp with a maximum team amp level of 2. Cursor resistance is 100%. HP 70% equals flash burn time 30%. Wow. Increase the duration of flash burn inflicted on enemies by 30% when the user is 70% or above. Ah, uh, so she's really good on giving flash burn. She seems built to do one thing, and that's to continuously give flash burn over and over and over again. This ability where it reduces the user's movement speed, I assume they don't want you holding onto these at all, and they want you to use it as soon as you get close to three. It's really weird that the third bar is actually something that hurts you, as opposed to anything else. I don't 100% understand why they would do that. It doesn't seem like 
that amazing of an ability to have that it will require you to lose your movement speed over it. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't understand that. But other than that, she seems perfectly fine at inflicting flash burn. <laughs> so if you want someone to inflict constant flash burn, she seems to be your gal. Next, we got Summer Cat Seath, who is an actual separate dragon. So there's two uh, new units here. Uh, let me see. We got Prankster's Pleasure, deals damage to surrounding enemies, inflicts flash burn, and grants the entire team uh, defensive amp. Damage is 1,700, really, with no with no limit on that. I guess it is just a defense amp, actually. Because I was going to say, you could just go Uidin and get that defense amp up pretty quickly if you're just constantly spamming it. But if it's just defense amp, I guess they don't really consider that too much of a amazing thing to have, I guess. Um, flash burn, last 21 seconds when inflicted, and yeah, you know the rest. Ability strength 50%, if the user is attuned to light, increase strength by 50%. Light tropical troublemaker 3, if the user is attuned to light, fill 100% of the skill gauges of the started quest and increase damage to flash burn enemies to 25% when the user has a team defense amp. Pretty good, actually. It's not bad. Uh... Yeah, not bad at all, and I think neither one of these dudes are limited, I think. Yeah, newly featured. Not limited at all. I like that effect. Seems perfectly fine. Obviously, case-by-case -case basis, if you're someone who inflicts constant flash burn, and you have a team amp, a defensive team amp thing on, this, on the team, you're really good to go. But if you don't, then it's kind of like you're missing that second half of it, but, you know, pretty solid, I would say. Considering the state of light dragons... <laughs> It's it's a pretty good uh, it's a pretty good light dragon in my book. Maybe that just says more about all the light dragons in the game, but whatever. Um, I think both seem perfectly fine. If you want, if you like Summer Shell and if you like Summer Cat Seath, you can summon for it. Chances are this Cat Seath is going to be more useful than the Shadow one because uh, they got killed horribly by Nihility, just absolutely murdered. <laughs> So the summer variant might see more play in some other style of uh, nihility-based content, which is pretty funny. Uh, I'm not going to be summoning because I wasted all my Wormite on Gala Audric. And now basically Dragalia is in the doghouse for me in terms of summoning. It doesn't matter what they released, I'm not summoning. So if you are if you love Shell and you want a summer unit that's Shell, I wish you all the best of luck. It is never worth it to summon on a prize showcase. Prize showcases are only good when it is free summons. If you are summoning on a prize showcase because it is a prize showcase, stop doing that. They're not good enough to warrant anything. And that's how I feel about it. It's, it's the fact that one of these needs to, the, Damac the, the Damascus Ignite needs to be knocked down to gold prize. That's how I feel about that. Um, but yeah, and also there is Yukata uh, Cleo coming later this month. So if you're someone who's a big fan of Cleo, you might want to skip out. If there's a one banner that's going to tempt you before the anniversary in late September. And there's also going to be a Gala Trugalia with a dragon on it. Because of course, because the anniversary is in late September, uh, close to <laughs> late August, we are going to get another Gala banner. That's just the way the, um, not including remixes, obviously, because we get remixes at a fairly decent clip. So yeah, be smart. Uh, I wish you the best of luck of your summoning, especially if Shell's your girl. I always want people to get the units that they love. Go always summon for love, do what you want. And I will see you guys in the next video. I'm going to go check on that rat and see if there's either a rat or a ghost coming after me. You guys have a good night. See you later. Bye-bye.